Hey there, welcome to Abva's member centered event. So, my name is Emanuel Agimo. I'm the founder and CEO of Hexa Media. Um, I'm just going to be introducing Hexa Media to you if this is your first time hearing about us or coming in contact with us here at Hexa. So, Hexa, formerly known as Ella Communications, we fully rebranded to Hexa Media January 16th, 2023. We are a full service digital media agency that helps African organizations, social enterprises, and purpose driven businesses to leverage tech digital media and communications for growth. So you can learn more about us by visiting our website on www.hexamedia.africa. So why exactly are we here today? We are here uh, because of this very important event called the Social Impact Marketing Summit. So the Social Impact Marketing Summit is our annual event um, where we leverage where well, we teach African nonprofits or um, players, top and upcoming players in the nonprofit sector, how to leverage digital media and marketing for the organizations. And like you all know, a lot of African nonprofits are lagging behind when it comes to leveraging the full power of marketing and communications for the organization. So this, this event is basically to bring together everyone in one space to learn how they can leverage uh, marketing and different tools for the organization. And we're holding the second um, edition of the Social Impact Marketing Summit this August um, in Lagos, Nigeria, which would also be streamed online. And you can see we have a list of powerful speakers coming to share with us um, at the event. So if you'd like to join us in person or um, online, please feel free to visit the website on your screen, www.sims.africa, to register. It is totally free for everyone um, at the moment, so please take advantage of it and learn. So a few housekeeping rules. Please turn off your mics. You can mute your mics um, so that we do not distract each other. Also, shut out distractions because this is going to be a very simple um, concise, straight to the point uh, um, session. And I can promise you that BDM is going to be sharing great things with us today. She always over delivers. So it is great that you shut out distractions so that you are able to learn something. Also use the chat function to communicate, um, ask questions at the end of the session. She will be giving um, some time to, to respond to all your questions that you have about podcasting. Also, as usual, the recordings for this session will be available for everyone on our YouTube channel. So don't worry, we're going to send it to you via email so far as you are registered for this, um, um, this event. Finally, please connect with someone. It's very important that you're able to con connect with someone because you do not know who is your next um, line for something new in your life or in your organization today. So please connect to someone. And on this note for connecting, we're going to start with introducing ourselves. So please, um, I see a lot of you already joining in. Kindly tell us your name, the country you're joining us from, the name of your organization and your role at your organization. So like I said before, my name is Emanuela Imo. I am a Nigerian currently in Nigeria. I am the CEO and um, founder of Hexa Media Africa. So over to you guys. I want to hear from you. There are some people here I already know. There are some I do not know, but I would like to know each and every one of you. And I'm sure Bidemi will also like to connect with some of you here. So please, um, while that is going on in the chat, there's someone going to be in the chat um, looking through and I'll still come back to the chat to look at it. So while we're introducing ourselves, I would like us to meet our speaker today. Um, our speaker is Bidemi Adedire. Bidemi is a communications and idea strategist who embraces a lifelong learning mindset. She firmly believes in the transformative power of ideas and creativity in shaping the world. With a specialization in leveraging digital tools, BDME excels in facilitating effective communication, building platforms, and delivering audience-focused solutions. Her expertise lies in utilizing innovative strategies to maximize the impact of campaigns and initiatives. With a passion for empowering others, BDME advocates for adolescent health and women's empowerment. She's also an avid podcaster 
and the convener of the African Podcast and Voice Awards. With a keen eye for emerging trends and in dedication to continuous growth, BDME is committed to making a positive impact through her work. Um, you can connect with BDME on LinkedIn. Um, she is BDME Adedire on LinkedIn. Uh, this profile is very limited <laughs> when it comes to describing who BDME is, um, but I would like her to take it away and, and tell us more uh, about who she is and what she does. I don't want to blow her trumpet for her, but yeah, I, I would like her to, to, to tell us more. So while we're waiting, uh, before we give BDME the floor, I would like to go into the chat to see what is going on. So I'll stop sharing my screen now. And um, I would want to meet you guys. Um, where are you joining us from? Your name, your country, and the name of your organization. We have just 30 seconds to do that before BDME takes over from me. So your name, your organization, and where you're joining us from. It's important we're here and we're all communicating and um, connecting together. Waiting, 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 waiting. Let's meet someone new today. I see some people here. Okay, I know Rogers. I see a DDN. Um, hi, Antifala Kemi. I see you here. Welcome. Okay, I see the chat now. Hi, Rogers. Joining from US today. Well done. How is the um, fellowship going? Rogers is right now in the US for the Mandela Washington Fellowship. Congratulations. Um, uh edward all the way from zambia wonderful nice to have you here nice to have you here okay great it's nice to see a lot of people here um others could join the replay um when they join us yes thank you so much okay bidemi i think you can have the floor now to share with us about podcasting um for non-profits Thank you so much, Ella. Hi, everyone. My name is Bitemi Adedre. And no, <laughs> there is no trumpet anymore left to blow. <laughs> there is a lot of trumpet to be blown today, but then, okay, fine, don't blow the trumpet. <laughs> okay, so um, I would love to introduce um, APVA to you all. And I'm so glad that I am speaking on this particular topic one moment because I would love to record videos as well. I'm really excited that I am speaking on this topic because this is like the first time where I will be speaking on something that relates to the things I do. So I'm in the development sector and I'm also in the audio creative industry. And we are discussing podcasts for nonprofits, which is like podcasting for development. So we are merging these things together. I'm going to share my screen now. Please ignore the tabs you'll be seeing. Uh, one moment. Please give me permission to share my screen. Thank you. Yes, I have done that. Awesome. Amazing. So I'm going now. If we can all confirm that you can see my screen, that would be awesome. Thank you. Before yes. we get started, thank you so much. I was, I am going to share a few things. First is please ask as many questions as you want, share your comments, share your thoughts. If you have experience in podcasting and you also want to share some tips and tricks definitely please share this is the one place we can learn together so um the topic given to me is podcasting for nonprofits, leveraging the power of audio for storytelling um, APVA stands for the Association of African Podcasters and Voice Artists and it is on this foundation that we are you know, coming to teach. And because we've also seen a gap that we have a lot more right now in the APV awards are ongoing and we are seeing the numbers. It's not reflective of the trend because this is not research. It's just us putting together an award to celebrate African creatives. But we realize that we have a lot less podcasts 
within the development sector. We have a lot less podcast on advocacy, a lot less podcast on social change. I mean, I would love to see podcasts where the only thing they talk about is FGM, for example. Thankfully, we have podcasts like My First Time Stories that talks about uh, menstrual hygiene and menstrual justice, which is great to see. But we'd love a situation where it's not just on rare cases that we have these examples. We want a lot more. We want to be nice that we're setting trends as creatives here on the continent that are actually causing change in our communities. So I'm going to start first by introducing what a podcast is. I think everybody knows. But then again, um, I think it's just nice that we have these introductions here. Please, I will also... So I cannot see the chat right now. So Ella and team, if there's anything you need my attention on, just let me know and I'll be happy to pause to speak to okay. it. Thank okay. you. A podcast is a digital audio or video file because recently we've realized that videos can also uh, be classified as podcasts. I personally call video podcast vodcast. Um, People subscribe or download or stream podcasts. Um, it's basically most times it's not live. It's not like when you watch break the breaking news and it's a live um, um, event. But most times podcasts like this are pre-recorded. Although we do have live events that are also podcasts, but this is the typical podcast. So um, a podcast allows you to say get subscribers just like you would on your youtube channel and people tend to receive new episodes whenever you've uploaded a new episode so i have my playlist just like you would have your playlist if you're listening to music i also have my playlist when i'm listening to podcasts and i love to listen to podcasts in the mornings most of my podcasts are self-help podcasts or religious podcasts because i'm a christian so that brings me to the next um slide which is kinds of podcasts right there are different kinds we have podcasts that are interview based and conversation based uh, we see a lot more podcasts like that i'm sure some of you have seen some podcasts trending most of these podcasts are talking about relationships right and um, interview podcasts are really easy to trend they tend to go viral quickly because they are conversations and people are sharing their opinions um so not all of these things this is not your news channel where it you think or you are getting um accurate information it's not like all news channels bring accurate information but with podcasts it's more of people sharing their thoughts their opinion you know knowing fully well that it will be listened to and people can relate to this and then we have narrative and storytelling podcasts this this kind of podcast is usually when it's just one person talking right now it's just only me talking so imagine me talking and explaining what the podcast is and then producing it and releasing it for people to listen um if you are a very good speaker an engaging speaker I mean, you could also grow your podcast by just having a narrative podcast, especially if you're great at telling stories. So um, a few years back, I worked with um, the Black History Buff. And what he does is actually tell Black history in a very compelling narrative manner, yeah. immersive. And um, he's he has been the only one for years now, and he's he's he has had over twenty million listens. If I'm yeah yeah over twenty million listens so far. I mean, when you provide value, when what you're doing actually is contributing to society, people will listen to you. You will have an audience. Someone will listen to you, even if it's one person. You have an audience, right? So. As I'm sharing these things, I want you all to kind of start thinking about what kind of podcast best suits you. Are you the kind of person that would rather interview someone? I'm the kind of person that would rather interview someone. I prefer to interview people. I don't like being the speaker because I'm like, I'll be blabbing and just talking left, right, and center. But if I'm interviewing you, oh, yes. Yeah, that's where I want to be. Um, narrative and storytelling. I've done a few narrative and storytelling podcasts. In fact, those podcasts are actually my highest rating podcast. Yeah, I have more listens on my narrative podcast than even the conversation podcast, which is strange. But usually if you have your speaking point, you know what you want to say. It makes narrative podcasts really cool. I have a few podcasts on police brutality where I tell stories about, you know, victims and, you know, the whole SARS movement, which is pretty amazing and pretty cool. 
so these are two kinds of podcasts if you understand all i've been saying so far please just react with the thumbs up button the thumbs up button or a smiley or if you like if you like it's not it's optional you can clap if you like <laughs> or you can use the heart button thank you so much extra media i see that you are listening okay so next um types so there are different types right Today, we're talking about podcasting for development. So obviously, this is a type. We are talking about podcasts within the development sector. So um, there are lots of causes, right? So it could be a climate-driven podcast, right, where you are discussing climate change. Or it could be a bee farming, beekeeping, rather, beekeeping podcast, where you want to talk about how, you know, protecting bees is also protecting the planet. planet. It could be uh, an environmental conservation podcast. So when I'm giving you this list, it means these are types. These are like subcategories in the development sector. So they are educational podcasts, they are informative podcasts, they are current affairs podcasts, which is pretty great, and they are entertainment and comedy podcasts. I've mentioned earlier that the APV Awards is currently ongoing. The ceremony will be on the 23rd of September this year. Uh, but we've been we've started announcing our official nominees, and you know the categories are amazing: health and wellness, fiction, crime, sports, society and culture, politics. Amazing, amazing guys! But it's a lot of work, considering that these are a lot of categories. But it's been so beautiful realizing and discovering African voices that are actually speaking to these categories as these are the niche they want to focus on. So I'm hoping that as we talk, as we discuss, and I shall share some of my experience in the world of podcasting, you will be inspired to create your own podcast because someone out there wants to listen to you. Some of you here are thought leaders. Um, I would say instead of waiting for an opportunity where you are invited to speak, create your own platform where people act actually come listen to you, right? It's like having your own stage. It's like having your own theater where you are not limited. You have the autonomy on the kind of content you want to put out. And if you're an advocate, someone like me, and I'm, I'm an advocate for women's empowerment, adolescent health, and menstrual justice. These are the things I like to talk about. I'm talking about all these things all the time. And I love to talk about them passionately. So I would love to go, to, you know, have a platform where I'm not hindered, right? I'm not um, hindered by the nuances of the society. I can share to someone who is passionate about me as well. And I possibly ignite a movement. This is what podcasts can do for us as nonprofit founders, as nonprofit experts, as communications experts that we are so i've touched on types why podcasts i feel like i've said a lot of things that really explains why we all should go into podcasting so the question now is why not so i'm going to ask everyone a question do you have a podcast please let me know in the comment section if you have a podcast if you do not tell us why you do not have a podcast i'm giving every one of us 30 seconds to answer that question i will be looking at the comment section to see what you all think. Anyone? Do you have a podcast? Just yes or no? Is it possible to create polls on this Zoom? I'm not sure. No. Okay. Anyone? I've seen Exam Media's response, no podcast. Exam Media. Mayo says not yet. Rogers, not yet. Falakemi says no. Okay, so I'm I, I believe the not yet means you guys are considering it. You're probably just wondering what it would take and if it would be a lot of work, you know, to have your own podcast. So this is why we are here. And second question, guys, please just just humor me. If you had a podcast, what would be the name of the podcast? What would you be talking about? anyone while I'm waiting for you guys to tell me what the name of your podcast would be I've had this idea for ages and I've been sharing it with as many people as I can I can find because I'm not taking it up someone else that is passionate about that cause should take it up I've been talking about women in politics 
write women in politics podcast god i would i would listen to that podcast i'm not interested in politics because i feel like a lot is going on is to hmm, export okay okay i see i see all right i see you rogers amazing work you're doing amazing work Looking forward to you, looking forward to your podcast. And I mean, when you guys finally launch, please share your podcast with APVA. This is why we exist. We want to amplify your work. We want to share your work with the community. We could share it with Afropods. We could share it with podcast sessions. We could share it with Semabox. We could share with a lot of people that would, you know, get you more eyes and ears on what you are doing. What are less? <laughs> Okay, what I let us take, let's we'll, we'll think about something. But great to see that some of you already, you know, it shows that you all have something to say readily. You have something to say at the moment if you were given the opportunity. For like, we will talk about hygiene. Yes, yes, and yes. So, moving forward, why not? So, now that I know that. 90% of us here would love to have a podcast. I don't think we should dwell on this anymore. Let us utilize new media. Let us, you know, with podcasts, it's so flexible. You can share that podcast episode that you have. It can be aired on radio. And if it's a video, you can share it and it can be aired on, on, on TV. Do you know that I did a podcast series on my period chronicles? It was aired on radio. It was aired on TV. In fact, not just TV, it was aired on satellite TV. Um, TSTV to be precise, apart from the fact that it was also on my own platform for people to listen to. So I knew then that the work I was doing, mm -hmm, now more eyes, more ears, thousands of people listened to that series. So look at how flexible it was. I, I didn't have to, you know, write a proposal, reach out to TVs, etc. you know, all the stress that comes with you finding a slot. You don't need to do that. When you have a ready content that is valuable, if you preach it or share it with someone else, they will pick it up, right? So podcasting for the win, everyone. Means podcasts. Okay. Okay. Minting new ideas to solve current life problems. Sounds a lot like money. Mint. <laughs> All right, everyone. I'm moving on to the next slide. So what does it mean when we begin to podcast? The possibilities are endless, guys. Now you are putting a face to the course. You are sharing stories of impact you are not just posting flyers please donate you are not just posting flyers you know flyers these days don't work but when people hear you when they hear the passion in your voice i think it makes all the difference and i think that is what it's it's going it's a life changer it's or it's a game changer for us if we can begin to take podcasting serious oh a, a particular podcast just came to mind, the ACT pod by the ACT Foundation. I was so happy when they got into podcasting because it would be nice to see grant making organizations start podcasting. Imagine turning your frequently asked questions into podcasts for people to listen to and hear how to go about applying for your grants. That would be amazing. That's a ready resource. You don't have to keep repeating these things. You don't have to keep doing webinars every year for people that are trying to apply for your grants. If you're a grant making organization, for example, you can just have this resource ready and say, if you are looking to apply for a grant, please listen to these five episodes on how to apply and have a strong chance of getting this grant. You do it once and you're done, right? And people keep listening and listening to it. So it means a lot. Game changer, podcasting. So what does it mean? Create audio content, create audio visuals, create videos, repurpose this content, amplify what you're doing, amplify your voice, build a community around your cause. If you already have thousands of followers, imagine, let's imagine a big organization now. I want to believe the United Nations, they have a podcast. I want to believe that they do, but Imagine the United Nations with their millions of followers and millions of people following what the UN does, having a podcast, millions of listens. If they choose to do it daily, that is what happens on a daily. 
And if you are not careful, it would mean that they are not moving into media. At some point, we are, we all have to do something. We all have to connect to what is happening in media. So what are the benefits? I've talked about the benefits. More eyes, more ears, accessibility. And if your podcast is an interview or conversation-based podcast, it opens doors for you. So take, for example, you know that just sending proposals, you know, people see proposals every day. They might not even respond. But a chance to speak, an opportunity to speak and share your expertise, people are most likely to respond to that. And if you have a podcast, you can reach the unreachable, the seemingly unreachable. Have them on your podcast. You know, use that as an opportunity to rub minds. Use that as an opportunity to share thoughts. And then when this person that you're looking to work with, this organization that you're looking to partner, realize that you both have, you know, project or, or your work aligns, I think it would be a lot easier to request for partnership or to ask that you collaborate on, on, on a project, right? Because you've created that platform, that opportunity where you both realize that you're good for each other. I don't know if that making sense with this point. So see podcasting as an opportunity maker. Mm-hmm. That's the word I would say, right? Audience expansion, contact-based expansion. You will be meeting with the people. You'll be forced to actually research and find thought leaders and find experts in that field that can be of help to your organization. So that's what podcasting can do. And I say this because I'm a living testimony, guys. Okay. Um, so challenges. Um, <laughs> hello. Good morning, yeah. Whose baby is that? Thank you so much for chiming in and sharing your thoughts. But please meet your mic. <laughs> Challenges of podcasting. Everyone goes through this. Podcast burnouts. Your tiredness is not easy podcasting, but I'm going to share some tri- tricks to it. I'm going to share some tips. But I think these challenges uh, that you can see on my screen, these are like the main challenges quality you know it costs money to record so if you're going to outsource your recording you might have to pay some amount because they have the equipment they have the cameras you need an editor you need a producer if you want to really go deep you need a script writer but if you want to do it on your own uh, it might not sound so good if you just pick up your phone and record unless you're using a really good phone or you could choose to invest in tools like this, like some of the things I'm currently using that are actually not so expensive. Invest in it one time and you are good to go. But it's also a problem for a lot of nonprofit, especially the ones that are grassroots that are not really getting any form of income or revenue, which is completely understandable. But there are tips, there are tricks, there are things that we do. I mean, before I had mics and headphones, I was recording without a podcast, right? And I was able to achieve some sort of quality. So I'm happy to share those tips and tricks later on. Consistency is a challenge, but like I said, there is a way out. Building an audience, especially for indie podcasters, when you are just starting, it's not like someone that already has maybe 10,000 followers on Instagram and that person can just say, hey guys, I've started a podcast. And even if not all 10,000 will listen, at least a thousand would listen to that podcast that very day. But for you, if you're just starting, mm-hmm, you might be like, this podcast I'm doing, I've not even hit 100 lessons. But like, I'm going to also say something that when you are providing good content, quality content, people will listen. Time and resources, like, you know, I mentioned earlier how you would need to edit, how you would need to produce. Recording is not the only thing. There's a lot more work after recording. There's the post. You know, when you've finally published it, there is a lot of work you need to do if you want it to get to more eyes, right? So these are some of the challenges that are there. But does it mean that we should not invest in it if it means helping our cause, if it means growing what we do? 
I think not. I think this is something we all should get into. So um, these are examples of podcasts. The Ubuntu Giving Podcast, I'm actually the host of the Ubuntu Giving Podcast because I work with Giving Tuesday Africa Hub as the communications manager. And this podcast recently launched, actually. <laughs> Sorry, is it, can we have a, one of our host um, mute the mic of this person? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so an example, the Ubuntu Giving Podcast, um, you can see the assets on the podcast, and it, this is a reel that we created from this podcast. This podcast is on individual giving with Moses Izoba, who is uh, one of the founding fathers of African Rising, right? Amazing. Because just through this podcast, I've met a lot of people I didn't dream of meet. I like, I felt I would never meet them, even though we, we met virtually. But I mean, I love the fact that this podcast gave me an opportunity. The company gave me an opportunity to create this podcast that also gave me the opportunity to meet more amazing people, right? And if you notice this podcast, you can see that apart from just the flyer, you know, there is a reel that we created that we could post on IG for people to listen to snippets. Um, There is a quote where we kind of picked some of the things that our speaker you know, our guest at the time talked about that we felt, okay, these people should see this. Now, when you do this, when you include it in your communication strategy or your social media strategy, you get more eyes, you get more listens, right? And if you share this, another trick, if you share this with your guest, knowing fully well that your guest probably most likely as a network of people within that field and sector that you are very much interested in, if they share it across their platforms, you're getting double eyes, like the eyes times two, right? More people listening, more people seeing what you're doing. And from there, someone could say, I'm interested in what this person does. Someone could say, I'm interested in being a guest, taking the stress of you finding a guest away. Right. So, I mean, there's your communication should also also be on point. Now, if you need help with your communications, you know, you're in the right place already because XR Media is here and ready. Another example. Apologies. Another example is the Sif Source Weekly Podcast uh, by Sif Source Africa. They also talk about generosity. I've these guys, Sif Source, they've been consistent. I really applaud their consistency, to be honest. So I'm sharing these examples with you because if you are looking to, you know, follow someone or just go to this website, look for this podcast and emulate what they've done. Use this podcast as template to create your own podcast. There is the Conversations on African Philanthropy podcast by Capsi. Capsi is the Center on African Philanthropy and Social Investment. I feel like these are one of the first set of people that even started podcasting. I was so happy when I searched and I saw that they had a podcast ongoing. So before starting a podcast, if you are interested, okay, why do you want to do it? Now, in my case, for Ubuntu Giving Podcast, yeah, we wanted to create, we wanted to document acts of generosity, okay? We wanted to understand generosity in Africa, right? We wanted to also show to the world that the idea of philanthropy is not new to Africa. We've been giving. It's in our culture to give. Some of our culture and traditions actually are embedded in giving. So the Ubuntu Giving Podcast allows us to interview whether you are an expert whether you are just a person tell us how you give when was the last time you gave who gave you something that you never forgot you know let us understand tell us about giving in your village we we actually want to document the stories giving traditions we want to doc- and you know the beautiful thing about this podcast one of the podcasts has led to something more it probably has led to a new project now this, that is why I said from the beginning, the possibilities are endless, okay? So before starting, why are you doing this? Define it, the goal, the purpose of this podcast. Who am I doing this for? I mean, if you want to do a podcast that speaks to FGM, for example, 
you are not going to bring someone who talks about education. You have to bring someone that understands FGM, right? You want to connect with survivors, right? You want to connect with people that have been victims of this act of harmful traditional practices. So it has to connect, right? You don't just say, ah, my friend, let me bring her to come and talk on my podcast. If your first impression is not good, uh, chances are people will not come back to listen to you. Plan your content, very important. If you want to tackle burnout and ensure that you are showing up consistently, if you say Fridays, your podcasts are appearing on Fridays as you've planned, it's not going to be easy for you to keep doing it every week. If you plan ahead, if you do a lot of front loading, aha, uh-huh, you will find yourself um, um, showing up. For me, because me, <laughs> sometimes I even get tired of talking, right? Times are like that. As much as I love speaking, as much as I love podcasting, there are times when I just don't want to. I mean, my personal podcast, I've not had an episode in almost a year, to be honest. Um, So I do my podcast in series. Like when you watch uh, Game of Thrones, it's it's not like Game of Thrones. They were just releasing, releasing the episodes every week or they were acting and releasing it. If they were doing it like that, we will not see Game of Thrones to watch. So what those guys did was produced everything, had everything ready and they set a release date and they decided, okay, if we release it today, every week it will be releasing on Mondays, right? So if you do that for your podcast, if you record 10 podcasts at once and you say, I want to release this podcast once a month, that is 10 months. Or if you say, I want to release this podcast once a week, that's like two months worth of content or three months. Yeah, three months worth of content right? So if you don't do things in batch or in bulk, you might burn out. So I would, it's not a must. You don't have to do it. If you think, if you are, if you are strong enough to show up every week, please do it. But if you know that once in a while you want to rest, but you have this podcast that has to show up on Fridays, I would advise that you do batch recording. Okay. I would highly recommend it. Get necessary tools, right? Get a lapel mic. A lapel mic is like 3,000 era. Get one. Make it easy for you so that you sound good. Your audience love you. You know, the quality is great. Even when you give it to a producer to help you, it makes it easy for them to give you good work. Record your episodes. Choose a hosting platform. Um, APVA is currently partners with Afripods. Afripods is the headline sponsor of the APV Awards. Pretty amazing. And they are the only African platform that offers free hosting uh, um, and distribution services, right? So, I mean, it's free. Please just go ahead and have your podcast on Afripods. Promote your podcast. I feel like that's a given. If you do something that is well, share it with the world and also engage with your audience. So if you want to have a successful podcast, just like we tackled the challenges earlier, right, on quality, on consistency, on building an audience and, you know, resources, I would say if you want to be successful, be consistent. And I've talked about how if you do batch production, you will actually be consistent, right? I've done batch production of a podcast series now, and I actually don't need to record a podcast till next year. I mean, I feel so fly right now knowing that those podcasts will just be going out when they are needed. And they've been so timed to even join international conversations around the globe. Okay, so that is one key to consistency. Quality is important. Now, I know that recording a podcast on Zoom, for example, you cannot control everything. Light can just disappear. This is Nigeria. If you're in Africa, you know what I mean. Um, Network can be very terrible sometimes. But if you have some of these tools in place that can help you, I have a noise, um, um, noise reduction tool that I use when there's too much noise around me. But I know that this is because I've spent a few years podcasting so I can invest in these things. But if you are starting, do what you can do. Zoom is free. For 40 minutes. What do you want to say that will be more than 14? Please don't don't talk for too long on your podcast, but try to control some of these things. You can you can send your guests if you are having a guest a message and say, please, 
I would love us to record in a quiet environment so that the sound is good and, you know, have an earpiece, even if you don't have a mic, you know, anything that can help you get some sort of quality. Okay. If you have good work, you will be proud to share it. And then authenticity and relatability. When you share something that people can relate with, there's a reason why documentaries go viral, especially on some of the causes that we do. When you hear a survivor sharing their story, there's a reason why a lot of people come forward to share those stories. A podcast we even give, you know, someone who is who probably has trauma or PTSD, they will feel more comfortable on a podcast because it's audio, right? They will feel more comfortable to share than when it's on TV because we definitely be nervous if it's on TV. You dev- Once there's a camera, you I will get nervous myself, okay? So authenticity and relatability. If you are sharing true stories, if you are sharing stories that really speaks to what you want to do, you're going to grow. You will grow. I say this because when APVA started and we were just sharing our stories, we are almost hitting 10,000 listens on AfriPods. And honestly, we don't do much of promotion for our podcasts, which I need to work on, by the way. But just imagine the consistency and the fact that we are we are hitting on the fact that we want to amplify African voices. That is what has gotten us to this point. And also you need a concrete communication strategy. If you're an NGO and you don't have a communications plan, you don't have an editorial calendar, you don't have, you're not active on social media. And when I say active, I'm not telling you to post every hour, but active in terms of your consistency and how you share your impact and what you do. I don't know if you'll be able to add podcasting to the mix, to be honest. So get your communications in place. Um, have a meeting with Exa Media. I think they have free consultations that they do to figure out how you can be consistent with your communication. You don't have to be on every platform. Just choose the ones that work for you. If you want to add podcasting to it so that it does not feel like too much stress and too much work. I understand that sometimes we that are nonprofit leaders and founders, we are everything. We are the founder, we are the social media manager, we are the admin, we are the secretary, we are the receptionist. I understand that. So if you we're going to podcasting if these things are not in place it's going to be one big mess right so i don't like to start things if i don't know if i'm not sure that i'll be consistent so before starting podcasting if you don't have a concrete communications plan in place something simple and small that makes you show up at all times you might not be able to add podcasting you will be tired and you feel like this is too much work okay please if you are still with me just let me know, say something in the chat or just give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. <laughs> Anyone. Thank you. So post podcast platforms, Apple Podcasts, AfriPods, Spotify, YouTube. These are a few, to be honest, but these are like, have your podcast on this for and you are good to go okay but these are just a few of the platforms you can distribute i think i also have my podcast my podcast on radio public and uh, i have my podcast on higher radio um stitcher is gone now stitcher has closed but yeah i still i have my podcast on a lot of platforms and it's not a problem once you have your rss feed every other thing will flow but get your podcast on this platform choose one host platform where you will host your podcast. So you can decide to host your podcast on AfriPods or on Anchor or on Apple Podcasts. Wherever you choose to host it, it does not affect how or where you distribute it to. So if I host my podcast on AfriPods, I can still distribute it to Spotify. I can still have um, a copy of it on YouTube and I can still distribute it to Apple. Okay, It just makes it easy so that if your audience your listeners use different platforms. If someone prefers Spotify and because you're an Apple, they cannot listen to your podcast. I don't think that is great. Let it be that you are easy to find. You are easy to locate anytime, anywhere, right? Um, I'm looking at the chat because I can see two things. Apologies. Huh. I've taken people's time off. Bye, guys. I didn't, I'm not saying bye like to everybody. I mean to 
often who needs to go to a meeting. All right, next up is how do I begin? So fun facts and amazing that this webinar is coming at this time because Ella and I have actually been working on a program an opportunity for nonprofits because we understand that this can be daunting so we want to make it easy we are launching the podcast for for development initiatives soon and once it's open it's going to be open to a select few because nonprofits will be granted a once in a lifetime opportunity to pay less for more podcasting can be if you are outsourcing podcasting it can cost you a lot of money so we are coming up with this program, more like the Google for nonprofits and your tech soup, you know, or how it works. That's what we are doing with podcasting for development. So if you are interested, join the wait list. I think this is the point where Examedia will share the form. There is a form that we've created. If you would love to be a part of this, if you want to start a podcast and you want Examedia to handle it, so all you do is just record and we handle the rest for you sign up now okay you only get this opportunity <laughs> does not come every day because this is work right and this is how the firm is it's a joint initiative by APV and Exam Media. we are happy to support non-profit we want to see more non in this sector we want to see more non sharing their stories and impact and documenting the good works that they do right also I don't think Ella knows this, but I am giving away $1,000 worth of resources instantly. So if you sign up right away, <laughs> Ella is smiling. If you sign up right now, um, I don't know how Ella will do it, but I'm just going to give Ella all these things. You get a podcast planner. You get a podcast tracker. Um, the planner kind of helps you organize your thoughts. So you are you're starting on a really good foundation. I'm saying this because when I started, I don't even listen to the podcast of when I started because they were horrible. I It was when I had a structure and a plan that my podcast began to make sense. So you get a podcast planner that we created at APVA. We, we create homegrown resources. You get a podcast tracker. You're also going to get a worksheet that is going to help you grow your podcast. And there's a free audio book an ebook. It's paining me to give out this ebook, but I really want to see a lot more nonprofits, a lot more social enterprises coming into podcasting. Okay, so I'm going to be giving out this book as well. Uh, once Ella tells me this person has signed up, I'm going to give you all these things. I'm not lying. You are getting all these things right away. Uh, is there anything else? And yes, seven media templates. By the time you launch, make use of these media kits to beautify your podcast. Share it. Give your podcast a live. Breathe live into it. Let it fly. Let it be like a brand, like the media arm of your organization. And when you share kits like this for your speakers and say, okay, please find attached some of the episodes we've done, how we've had over 5,000 listens, I'm pretty sure that people will, <laughs> they will be more encouraged to work with you when you are disorganized and, you know, when you've fully documented what you are trying to do with your podcast. And this is where your media kits come in. So I'm giving you all these things for free because, you know, I'm, that is because Ella has brought me here to speak. I consider this a huge opportunity. I'm honored to do this. And so I'm giving out this right away. Only, only, only if you join the Podcasting for Nonprofit program right away. Please join um, or subscribe to ABRA. We always put out um, sector insights um, events and opportunities really um, in this field. Although APVA is not just for podcasts, but because we are talking about podcasts. Shay Yassin, when I told you people challenges of our light. <laughs> light, light is a problem. Okay, so let me go back. So please subscribe to APVA. Uh, I don't know. I can share the link for you all to see, but yeah, so you can share it in the chat. Okay, I'm sharing it in the chat. So we we send out monthly. Oh, no, 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 working. Okay. One moment, please. Yeah, sharing it now. So we send out monthly. Um, coming back, we send out monthly 
newsletters that contain sector um, insights, opportunities, events, everything you need. Um, so if you would love to keep getting that from us, great, great, great. I mean, the recording of this webinar will be available, so it's really optional. And if I don't think you need this, you don't need this. You can always just reach out to XR Media. But if you feel like there are some inquiries that you think only us can attend to, please send us an email at info at APVA.Africa. And uh, yeah, I'm open to your questions now. If you have any question, any comment, this is where you share it with me. And then I'm going off camera because this whole light thing is really terrible. Thank you so much. I've been grinning from ear to ear because you didn't, you didn't tell me about this extra <laughs> You didn't tell me about this extra part, but thank you so much, Bidemi, for such an insightful um, um, presentation and teaching to us. And I think it's high time Hexa Media also starts um, our own, you know, podcast. So everyone, you have learned so much today. I don't know if anyone has any questions. Um, the link to the podcasting for development uh, waitlist is in the chat box. Also, the link to APVA's um, newsletter is also in the chat box. Please feel free to subscribe. They share a lot of resources, a very robust team that shares a lot of resources um, very frequently. So, any questions before I let me? Let me go. She has about three minutes with us. Uh, do you have any questions about podcasting for your nonprofit or about the podcasting for development program? Uh, by the way, we're going to be sharing more details about the podcasting for development program um, sometime this month. And also at the Social Impact Marketing Summit, for those of you that will be there, we're going to be unveiling the program much fully um, live at uh, the event. So any questions before I let Bidemi go um, for the night? Any questions, people, please drop in the chat. She has just two more minutes with us today. Thank you to everyone that has joined us. Um, several, Mayo, uh, Iroma, Ola Kemi, Edien. I think Edien was Edward. Edward, I'm not sure. Um, oh, hi, Audrey. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, yeah, some others have left. Okay, so I want to believe there are no questions. As usual, the replay will be available for everyone. If you have any questions after this that maybe you didn't remember or something, you can send us an email on um, info at hexamedia.africa or you could also send APVA an email and the team right there will respond to you. Thank you so much everyone for joining us on today's session. I believe this will be the last series of last session of the series for the summit and we're going to be looking forward to having you all at the summit August 5th in Lagos, Nigeria. Those of you who are joining us from outside Nigeria, it'd be so amazing to have you. We have some participants joining us from Uganda, Zambia, Kenya, name it, so many African countries. And it's to be great to have you all. So thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful evening and happy Sunday in advance. Bye. Thank you for listening to the episode. Become a member of ABVA today. Visit abva.africa to learn more.